It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Monday, December 25th, 2023. Number one, President Biden announced Friday he is pardoning thousands of people convicted of use and simple possession of marijuana on federal land and the District of Columbia. As he did in October 2022, the president pointed to a use of the presidential clemency intended to rectify racial disparities in the justice system. In the statement issued by the White House, the president said his actions would make the promise of equal justice a reality. Number two, the Detroit News obtained audio recordings of a November 17, 2020 phone call in which then-President Donald Trump pressured two Republican members of the Wayne County, Michigan Board of Canvassers to withhold their signatures to an official document. The move was to block the certification of Joe Biden's victory in that swing state of Michigan. Trump told the members they'd look terrible if they signed the documents after they first voted in opposition and then later in the same meeting voted to approve certification of the county's election results. Number three, as a child, Brian Collier was told that he would be lucky to see his 20 first birthday because he was born with a sickle cell anemia or sickle cell disease. The 54-year-old man inherited the disorder that affects his red blood cells, which can be stiff and pointed instead of soft and round. The cells can cause anemia and pain. One in 365 black Americans is born with the condition, while one in 13 of us are born with a sickle cell trait. Read more about sickle cell in today's newsletter. Number four, Brooke Hart Jones created the first and only HBCU doll line that sold in major retail stores worldwide. The Texas native was inspired to create her HBCU dolls after unsuccessfully locating an HBCU doll to gift a friend. With the assistance of Purpose Toys, Jones now sells the dolls at an affordable price and at large retailers like Target, Walmart, Sam's Club, and Amazon. According to Jones, the dolls represent the major kind of iconic figures and archetypes within the HBCU culture. Number five, a discipline in the realm of Christianity is a person who has been baptized and follows the teachings and life of Jesus and whose goal is to be more and more like him to the point that the disciple looks up to him as the master. Read more about God's disciples in today's newsletter. It's Ministry Monday. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Remember, having fun is an essential part of living a fulfilled life. That it is. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with the What You Need to Know crew as we discuss... Christmas memories on Christmas Day. <laughs> Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed, be empowered.